Hello, my name is Sander van Reken and I'm here to show you some shader examples. So, here we have a shader that's used to randomize uh, the settings that can be used to change colors uh, when objects are moved or placed differently. This can be very helpful when creating buildings and you ultimately want to create lights that are turned on or off or even uh, have entire forest generate automatically different type of leaf colors or trunk colors so that everything is unique on the go. If I move this entire building now you can see that all the lights just randomly go on or off. Next up is a shader that uh, converts height maps into normal maps. This can be very useful if you have a very low texture budget but you have enough rendering power for anything else and maybe even do some nice shader tricks with height maps and normal maps combined. So as you can see I'm using the height map that I got provided here and do a pixel offset of all the different textures to ultimately generate a height map that I can increase or decrease the angle of. I can offset the pixels even more to get more a smoother result than you would naturally get. And this is all tweakable by some very simple settings. For example, as you can see now, it's, everything is overreacted. Next up, we have a mountain shader for snow. This uses the wind direction to offset the snow. In this case, I made the snow go up way higher than it would normally pile up just to show you the difference in uh, in height so it would automatically add more snow to it than it would normally get the shader also allows for easy uh, uh, changes so from like a lot of snow to a little bit of snow it's very easily to do and even settings like the thickness of how high the snow has to pile up can be tweaked with an instance thank you for your time see you next time